Hey guys, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today I have some great news for you. I received a recommendation letter from one of my best clients and this gives me great joy when I receive one of these because I know what this means for my business. This means I have yet another opinion of someone outside of my business that can refer business to me by people just finding these things or I'm show or sh me showing them this recommendation and so I want to share with you some tips on how to get recommendations like this because normally it's the kind of thing where you want reviews or recommendations for your business and they don't just come naturally that's not something that most um, businesses have have the ability to just get naturally you don't see products or services advertised with re, with reviews and that those reviews didn't take some work to get so here are a couple of steps or a couple of tips that I want to give you the first one is very simple just simply ask for a, a, a recommendation or a review let's say you have a restaurant or, or a, a different type of service business where you have a lot of customers coming in simply asking people to review your product or your service on the on a web on your website or on your Yelp page or on your Google my business page could go a long way to getting good reviews right if you had on maybe let's say your receipt a way to ask them for a review that's kind of what I would mention as step two make it part of the process right if you are providing a product or service you should want to garner good reviews because honestly when you think about the customer experience or you think about what a customer thinks through in their head they think about what other people thought about your business they actually go out and garner good reviews from different places or if they're going to buy a particular product they'll go find product reviews they'll go and search Google or YouTube or or any place they can to understand what it is you're offering them and how that could benefit them and having a good review out there is certainly something you can do so that's second that's that's step number two making it part of the process step number three one I think is a very good thing if you do offer a service that requires people to come in multiple times offer incentives discounts different ways to get people to give you a review if they give you a good review you can offer them a coupon maybe you offer coupons or you have some type of rebates you give uh, some of your great customers already that's certainly something you can plug right in to getting a good review for because honestly good reviews are hard to find they're also hard to have uh, a decent rapport of because honestly unless you unless you have a very easy way for someone to do this this isn't something most people are going to do uh, right away they're just going to utilize your product or your service and they'll they'll pay you for it and they'll be happy and they'll they'll leave right the last thing i want to talk about is something that is very important when it comes to my review here and it's something if i did not do this i would not have this particular review and that is follow up it's always good to follow up with businesses or other customers who are trying to get you're trying to garner good reviews from think of it this way Apple doesn't go and release a product like the newest iPhone or uh, the next generation of, of something without garnering good reviews and it takes a lot of partnerships and a lot of people to look at those things evaluate them and give honest reviews on if they didn't follow up on all the people that they are looking to get re reviews from they wouldn't have as many reviews and ultimately in the end if you have a good list let's say you have a list of about five individuals that could write a good review for you that are certainly reputable in, in the space that you're in how much value of, is that to your business is that worth a sale from that person or is that worth a sale from five other people I certainly think you can get a lot more people to pay attention to your business if you had reputable reviews from people that you feel are key to your business reputation and that is what I want to say is that if you don't follow up with people and you don't help them understand that that's that, that's going to be your 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 problem you're you're not going to have those types of reviews and you're you're certainly going to be separated from your competition you may also want to ask yourself or think to yourself or even doubt in some sense 
this seems like a lot of work and it seems like a, a hassle to people, right? Asking for a review or, or garnering a good review from people that have used your service is a bad idea because that's gonna sour a relationship. I would tell you that if it does do that, then that is a person that maybe you, you thought highly of who you may not wanna think as highly of anymore because if you offer a good service and that person is in business or knows how business works or can even think just like a consumer and know that businesses garner or want good reviews, right? Because they found a good review themselves, right? Then they will want to do that. They won't see it as a burden. They'll see it as part of w what it takes to do business. And it's certainly difficult to do these things. Like I, like I said, I can't, can't imagine asking people for reviews constantly, but I do that in what I do with the small clientele that I have because I, I do have really good relationships with the people that I, that I do business with and I trust them to give me great reviews because I want to give them great service in return as well. I want that service to be returned to me as well in, in, in the form of a good review and that helps my business and they know it helps my business and I tell them that. So um, in a roundabout way what I'm trying to say is really need to focus on having good reviews because I really think that a good reputation, whether it be online, on paper, wh whatever medium that, that you want to to leverage, and in some in some sense, I have it in paper, but I can also have it online and in digital form as well. Um, really, will help your business go a long way. So, with that, um, that's all I have for today. Would love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Love it if you aren't subscribed to this channel, to please subscribe. Please like this video or share it with others on different platforms. Tell them we're out here really trying to share information, uh, as well as give me some good topics to talk about. I try to get, get put you at the ground floor of my business, help you understand some of the things that I'm thinking about, some of the things that are important to me, but I certainly want to open it up to you. What are some good business topics for me to cover? things that I can do some research on. When it comes to reviews, I gave you a list of four different things that I felt were important, but I'm also gonna provide you a link to an article that I, I, I leveraged to make this uh, conversation possible, right? And I'll put that link in the description of this video. Go and check that out. There's actually some other tips in there, some other really good things that you can uh, garner from that uh, article as well. And just let me know what your, your tactics are, what it is you're gonna do differently to garner more reviews and 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 let others know about that in, in the in the comment section i would love to hear that um, and so until next time i am ken ross please visit my website i am kenross.com and i'll see you around